simultaneously 12 hours later, right? Something like that. Just found out I get to work a seven to a, or eleven to seven today, and then I'm working a three to eleven tomorrow. So literally seven hours later, I have to be back at work. I guess technically it's eight hours, so don't worry. They gave me the bare minimum. So that's. I can only imagine why. Okay, wait, let me see this again. Because what is going on on Saturday that requires two people to be there in the mornings? Travel. Uh, where was I? Here? Oh, is the dilapidated castle at all of them? Well, all of them. Oh, right, I was fighting that giant bull. Yes. Verbal audio was soft? Okay. Uh, I can fix that. Thank you. Yep. Maybe that's a bit better. Feels so good. Like a mix of Bloodborne and, you know, I don't know. It's its own game. Nope, 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 nope. Please, please. Thank you. Need to remember how to play. <laughs> You're good. All right. Hello. Constantly, the Naruto like action music is playing in my head. That's like, that is just the sound I hear for this game. Or at least while in combat. Alright, it's those guys. Yeah, I don't need to be fighting them. Streamer cam? Yeah. I can set mine back up again. It'll probably be after I move, in all honesty, so that I can set up, like, an actual office. Hey, buddy. Time to lose to this boss repetitively again. Uh, yeah, we could hop on Discord now if you wanted to. We could set that up real quick. Again. Or what was it? Was it through Zoom that we were doing it? For the, uh, so that you can see my game card also? Uh, 
pause. <laughs> Um, no, hang on. Um, oh, damn it, it has to update. <laughs> I just I, there's a boss fight right in that room, so I don't want to, um, head in yet, because it's been kicking my ass all last night. Okay, thanks for making me sign in again. New meeting. I didn't mean to do that. No, actually that worked. Wait. By contacts, yes. Share. I want to share that one. No, I don't want to share that one. Share that one. Hey, look at that. That works, I think. All right. Now you'll have to tell me what screen you're seeing. Once you do join. Uh, Zoom, I think that's what we were using. Because it was a good screen sharing one. And I'm going to try to do this boss fight now. Hey, hey. Yep. You two are going to die to that thing. Is that the jump command? Do I jump to dodge this guy? Oop, hello. Ow. You two are going to die to that thing. Is that the jump command? <laughs> Yep. I can also hear myself, apparently. Can your stream hear me? They should be able to. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to turn it up. Give me a second. Uh huh. You can pause. Oh, he can pause. There's no multiplayer element. The FromSoft game. Okay, that should have made you louder. In theory. And turn up the volume on my computer. I might have to turn down the game volume. Try talking? Hello, talking. Can you hear yourself? Is there any feedback? Not as of right now. Oh, cool. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. It is a little light, but yes, I can hear you. Okay. I basically put you in the box and oh. <laughs> um, pointed it away from the computer so that uh, all the audio is, is there. Gotcha. So, Bekechian, 
will be probably a little bit behind in terms of what she's able to see because they don't have these screens or TV. We just have the screen right over there too. So hello, welcome to Coherent Noise, everybody. With two people who <laughs> stood me. As is the course of it. All right, back to the fight. Oh, that's a loaded bull. Yep. <laughs> Tell me how I'm supposed to fucking dodge this thing, by the way. Kind of. No, you're not dodging it. <laughs> uh, maybe Dark Soul style roll towards it. No. Nope. To the right. No, that did not work. Okay. It Can pivots. Parry? It pivots on those things. Can you parry it? You know, the one thing I haven't tried. I took damage for that. right so basically is this thing grab the bull by the horns i'm kind of hoping it was just a get out of here alive type of scenario but it does not seem to be can you jump up somewhere and then get down on it that's what i was trying to do as the song says do we need ranged weapons uh no, not really. I have a flamethrower. Don't lose the flamethrower weak versus ten. Um, mayhaps also it's one of those get it to run into the wall. You know? There is a door that I need through. There could also be a... Nope. It's not, uh, like, it gets itself stuck or something on those, those horns. No. Oh, God. I'm so glad that there's no stamina. Oh, good. I guess that's to help with the ninja feel. Yes, very much so. He does not like really tight turns. Nope, missed. Why did that not work? Does it have a health bar? Yeah, it has a health bar from the top. Okay. finish wild on two nope. relatively quickly and then move right into uh king field so we'll get a very decent like comparison between two so you say it's pseudo undead you are an eternal samurai pretty much um something to do with the uh the blood of my master is called dragon blood and apparently can bring me back. Ow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, uh... He made a pivot that I was not accounting for. Was it on the table? Yes. Okay, so he gets one free drag. Yes. Um, okay. I can actually have up to two. Um, I just have to live long enough to unlock the second one. Okay. See, do you see the little uh, red circles above my health bar? Those are my reses. I can store up to two at a time, basically. Oh, very much so. Um, that being said, I would even akin it more to um, uh, what's what's the game that I'm trying to think of? Um, one, the movement system feels 
so smoothless. Especially the grappling hook. Um, yeah. If you want a good example of the um, the movement system, uh, last night I basically swung through a mountain with a giant snake chasing me. And it really taught me how to use the movement system. <laughs> Also, combat feels very smooth until you get to a boss fight. In all honesty. Yeah, the, the reviews I, I did read about this were saying, like, the big monster fights are some of the, the weaker elements because it kind of devolves back into From Software's uh, Circle Strike Hit. Yep. And the rest of combat is not that. It really does. Maybe hitting the horns. I don't want to be in front of this thing. Because that happens. Listen, or you just gotta get ahead of your problems. Yeah? <laughs> Do you see how that turned out? <laughs> I was set on fire and pinned to a wall. In two seconds flat. I got a cool little letter opener by pre-ordering it. It's the little sword that my guy uses. Nice. That being said, um, oh, actually, no, never mind. I thought I saw my sword somewhere in here, so I thought I would be getting an upgraded weapon, but I actually don't. I guess I do have shurikens, but they really don't work. They don't do much. Or Wait. they're not doing anything. Why not but try? Yeah, good point. Boost attack power. Boost his vital. 15 minute fight of you dodging and throwing throws in the air. It's a 15 minute fight. Can you poison him? I don't think I have any poison. I do have fistfuls of ash. I can throw pocket sand at him. You want to ask what's handy? Yeah. Reduces posture damage. I only have one of those. Heals the burn. I am going to need that. Alright, well. Fuck it. Oh, good. I got unseen aid. Because I definitely needed that. That basically means that I just didn't lose my souls that time around. Yes. But. Eh. I'm glad that the FromSoft uh, just run past them is still available. That guy almost didn't notice me. <laughs> because there are no uh, like invasions from the other players, it would have been nice if the boss arena could still have all the enemies congo run into you if you were letting them chase you. Oh god. I actually think they can. Hang on. Hi, Danny. It's the other one. I miss the times when Delaney didn't bark. Seriously? Um, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, um, sorry, I, I had a bull chasing me down, couldn't really hear. Oh, <laughs> Ow. So unfair. Hi, Danny. What are you shooting? Uh, 
Ow. Ow. Yep. I just... On other enemies, they were really doing nothing. But now I'm out, so, you know. Really didn't have many of those. You know what? That actually seemed to kind of stun him for a second. Oh god. Yep, the more I die, the less chance it is that I'm going to retain the stuff that I get after dying and people around me start getting sick. Spoiler alert, people are already very sick around me. I went to an area that I was not supposed to go. Kind of. Not that bad, but yes. <laughs> I I was probably meant to level up at least once before going there. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm okay with a penalty for dying, like when it's like, oh, you know, you lose your progress towards your next level, but like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get the bad ending because I didn't because I died too much now. Well, is it only if you level up in the battlefield? No, I think it's straight dying, isn't it? Mm. I don't know. I could be wrong. Good. I only have 3 of them. You know what? If you go back to your checkpoint instead of resurrecting right there on the spot, it might not be as bad of a penalty in terms of story. Oh, maybe I should uh Stop doing that then. But I know you get one free one. I mean, what would you do to stop people getting sick? Is there some curable potion thing you can do? Or like some way to like say you get humanity or advantage from a stop potion? I would imagine that that item would be a thing eventually. That did jack shit. Okay. And if your bloodborne had the way your like mana left your state, you would be in another state. I I don't think there was actually. Oh, okay. I can't see. Yep. Hi Fort. It's all it's you all over again. God, that attack just gets me every time. Pocket sand. All right. So, like, I would almost agree with you, but there's been none of that in this game. Okay. No bosses have had gimmicks. They've all been very straightforward, hit them before they hit you. Like, deflect them, but I don't, I don't think I can deflect this guy. I'm going to try, I guess. I mean, literally, what is there to lose? Yeah. Hey, no. How's the fork out, by the way? Good. Hmm? Oh, dinner was left 
upstairs, which included poor Phil and me. Ah. Next cabbage mixed with pasta, mixed with rice, mixed with <laughs> Yeah, it it was, it was chicken that I uh, it was chicken tenders, and I just cut them up into actual like slices of chicken. Yes, I will try fucking talking. So one of the nice things is there still is the block taunt. Unfortunately, you can't do it in PvP because no PvP. Yes. Oh. Why do you? Right, parrying. Yes, I can try that. Nope. Oh, you're dead. Just gonna stay dead. There's no point <laughs> getting back up. Um. Prior to this? Four now, technically. Okay. Well, I have fought four things that dropped prayer beads, which allow you to level up. So I think that that is technically bosses. There are a lot of enemies where they have like names and health bars above where I have to kill them basically multiple times. Um, is nothing special. Yeah. But. But we know burning bull is special. Yeah. And like, um, I'll show you. They already did the, like, hey, this enemy was a boss, and now it's a... I am awake. I'm sorry, DW. Why would I... Why would I not... Or why would I be asleep? Because Art, Art is asleep when DW found him. Ah. Uh, uh, Art is currently taking a business call. So uh, this... Exactly. This ogre thing right down here, that was, like, the first boss I fought. But now it's a kind of common enemy. Okay. They're like tougher, but. Oh, DW, just checking. You can hear us, right? Oh yeah, you can. Uh, you can hear Vakechian and, right? Yeah, because I fell asleep. And... Oh yeah, I tend to not do that. We decided to stream hard on two of like twelve thirty. The dude doesn't stay up till twelve thirty most days normally. You know, and I think he was just like, you know, come hell or high water, I'm going to stream. And he just fell asleep during the discreet stream for 20 minutes. <laughs> DW's here. Ah. Come on, Silencio. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is that your dreaming warrior? Ow. None of these walls are climbable. Your, what would show you that they're climbable? Uh, they would have little scratch marks on them. Here, I can show you. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, see how these are kind of like scratched up right on the edges? Oh, okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, they're super quiet. Okay, let me turn them up some more then. Lower OBS a bit, and then up some more. Does that work? Hey, can we get an audio test? Is this better? Mm -hmm. 
why is my name accompanied by the uh, the Kool Aid Man of Tiff? Interesting. I mean, maybe that shows his Twitch app on the PS4 screwing up. Higher? Oh. I don't. I don't know if I can go higher. Um, We're trying. It's been a while. Yeah, don't anger the bull yet. Huh. Huh. Was that as high as it can go? No, I mean, I'm, I'm just messing around with some of the audio settings. Okay. You should turn on the computer and AC. Oh, I'm not on my phone. Oh, no. Uh, try talking. Hello. This is a test of the emergency broadcasting sim uh, signal. This is only a test. We've gone flat, yeah. Hmm. I think that might be better. I guess I could just pull it up on my phone too to check. It's low still. That's so strange because I have I have now maxed out um, OBS. Interesting. I mean, I'm gonna I'm going to try to move send your microphone and just Ooh. see if that helps. Ooh, you are definitely louder in my ears. Oh, wait, I know what to do. Hang on. I'm an idiot. I got this. Try speaking again. Hello. So what have we done to change things? Um, basically, I lowered the in-game volume and boosted up OBS's volume. Okay. I mean, I've tried speaking louder as well and moving the microphone closer. I just haven't stuffed my head in my sound box and just tried talking there. Hmm. That is as far as I can get OBS to go up. He's no longer a mouse. I mean, that's that's an improvement, I guess. Unfortunately, Zoom does not have great, uh... Hmm. Great controls. Hmm. Well, as soon as I finish dinner, I'll see if I can pick up, like, increase my mic sensitivity or something. All right, that might that might have worked a little bit better. A lot to think about what body parts need to move in the right way to actually do the Brian Blessed I am my own megaphone. Hello! Oh dear. Welcome, Ori. Oh no, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh good. <laughs> um So how the fuck am I supposed to fight this thing? Does anyone have any ideas? Um, both yes and no. So to get 
Like these boys have been forged with from software games. They they generally know uh, what's going on. Um, Ow. It was, it's a different style. Um, it's yeah. yeah. Definitely a different uh, style. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, DW Art will be streaming Wild Arms 2 later and plans to beat it. Uh, but right now we're just hanging out with our good pal Ori, probably before he goes on night audit. Yep, and then I have to work a 3 to 11 shift tomorrow, so that's great. I have to be back at work seven hours later. That's not, that's not even enough time to sleep. Not really. Out. I don't know. The best part about working at a short-staffed hotel, I guess. Work at a better-staffed hotel? I have tried to. <laughs> They're apparently very hard to find. I feel like that didn't hit me, but okay. Oh, and now the cat is sniffing the, uh, He just body-checked me. The bull is shoulder-checking me! He don't take no bull? He yep. The bull? I'm getting harsh Ludwig vibes. <laughs> God, fuck that boss. I mean, there is the idea that, like, with each game, From Software is honing their specific brand of game more and more. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, now I'm just watching the older bit where you're just chase, like, you're just going, you know, ring around the room with the ball. It works. Yeah. Gives me enough time to... I'm hoping that my fucking brake will... Uh, lower. Oh, God. The uh, iframes are just so hard. That's it, it's like... Like, dude, you're just the clown in the barrel character during a rodeo. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. So you don't lose all of it. You just lose some progress towards your level and you lose some money. Okay. That's fine. That being said, I am definitely going to use my... Uh, my skill points. I was trying to save up, but not for this boss. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I mean, just uh, looking at the older bit. And the. Oh, it goes like this. Yeah. Um. I, I still absolutely love that, uh. The combat music every single time just reminds me of that Naruto, just the startup for like their battles. <laughs> and it just starts playing in my head. <sighs> okay. Got the prompt to kill him, but didn't get to. Oh well, next time. Yeah. yeah. Not like they cause much trouble, anyways. Mm <laughs> hmm. This game without blood would be weird. <laughs> In all honesty. Well, there's not a lot of games that have the change, um, like violence option. Oh, but I mean, I can turn off the blood in this game. They allow me to. Huh. Yeah. Eh, whatever. I mean, could you imagine if they were like, oh, do you want to turn the blood off in Bloodborne? And it's like, that's half the name. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember Gears of War has that option. And you can literally chainsaw people in half in that game. So they just act like two chunks instead of two chunks full of raspberry jam. No, actually, they don't even, like, the chainsaw just passes through them and they don't even, like, fall in half. 
Okay, that's interesting. Yep, it was the only stipulation where my parents would allow me to play the game. They were like, you have to turn off the blood and gore, and I'm like, okay. I'm still shooting people and chainsawing them. You realize this, right? <laughs> now, I want to give props to Brutal Legend. And I know that Brutal Legend is by no means a perfect game. But I like the fact that I could keep full vulgarity and then turn off the blood and violence. Because there's, like, impaling and stuff like that. It's like, okay, you know, not my jam. And they actually redid the scene so that instead of the demon killing everyone, he just, like, screams and they all, like, pass out. Interesting. Yeah, I was I was so pleased with the fact that they made a stylistic choice. And then again, it, they could be all, like, ow, fucking ow, cock ow. wankers, like, the entire time. Yeah, pretty good. It, it just, you know, for, for that weird kind of person, it's like, I am totally okay with the language. I'm just a little squicked out by the violence. You know, and it's like, granted, there's not a lot of people like that. It, I understand. It's hilarious if, uh, as in Brutal Legend, your, uh, your car was upgraded by uh, Ozzy Ozzy. Osborne. Osborne, yeah. Um, so... It would have been interesting if when you got there, he was just the same model, but like voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. And it's that... like, we, we tried to get Ozzy to stop cursing. It didn't work. <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, if there's a guy that's not going to care, it's him. And I think he even had like Brian Pussen there, which is basically a comedian about like the joys and geekiness of metal. Like, not a metal guy in his own right, but... You're doing well, man. Yeah. Keep going. No move! No! Get back up! Going back to. Up. I just have to wait for him to finish the move so that I don't instantly die again. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I broke it. Oh, shit, I broke it. Oh, yeah. thank God. Is he dead? He's oh. Dead! Okay. He's you know, dead. only like 13 times later or something. Hey, and now I heal more too. I hate you. Hey, we know you just fought a boss and all. Have some enemies. I guess it's only two, but still. Fuck you. Grunty types. I know, but I would not be surprised if they fucking threw, like, another boss at me, in all honesty. Oh, hi. Of all the things that you can no, picture no, no, no. from software I... putting in my son. My game for this series. What do you think they threw in? What 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 do you think started in Kingsgate and carried on? Parrying? I don't know if they're parrying. Oh. It's first person, for one thing. Yeah. The Estus? Nope. Huh. That wasn't even in uh, Demon Souls. Oh yeah, I guess it wasn't. Oh god, no, oh! Yeah, we haven't gotten to talk to you. Uh, we've been watching someone play Demon Souls. Oh yeah? Oh my god, that's where Dark Souls 2 came from. So you know when everyone's <laughs> shitting on it and like, why the hell did they do that? It's like, no, 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 no. Dark Souls 2 was them revisiting the Demon Souls way of doing it. Like, it didn't come out of nowhere. It's like, that was a place where it's like, okay, you failed, you lose half your health. You have like reusable items instead of the essence which only has so many uses it's like it's dark souls 2. huh it's a weapon oh no so I, oh no I felt so oh no better. big regrets big regrets big 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 regrets you don't look poisoned nope the only time i've been in the water something has chased me though I don't know if that's true here. So you could be freaking out over nothing. You're right. But there could also <laughs> be something swimming underneath me right now. I think I'm freaking out over nothing. That being said, that did answer my question of how to get that item. <laughs> I am a dolphin! Yeah, it's a 
surprising how well you move through the water. Especially with a wooden hand. So, what weapon do you think showed up in uh, the Kingsgate series that eventually got carried over to uh, Dark Souls? I mean, I would hope the Moonlight Greatsword. It is a Moonlight Greatsword. It's been yeah. in every single Kingsfield. Except in Kingsfield, they're the strongest weapons. I mean, it was one of the strongest in Bloodborne. Moon meant something very different in uh, Bloodborne, though. You're right. Ah, <laughs> Alright, so there's a big armored enemy. Okay. Nearly impervious to blades. Great. So you basically trick him to take it off. Hopefully. Or it'll just break off of him because he'll... God, it's gonna, I'm going to have to break it off of him. Wait a minute. I've been here. Haven't I? Maybe not. Oh, have there been shortcuts? Um, I have seen a few things that says does not open from this side. Okay. That being said, I don't think I have opened them from another side yet. So, who knows? Well, this might actually be one of them. Nope, does not open from this side. Ah, good. Wolves. The checkpoints. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah, they're your bonfires. I'm just gonna rest because I did apparently lose some health somewhere. I'm looking forward to uh, the zero punctuation take on Sekiro because it's gonna be a lot of, and this is this, and this is this, and this is this. It's yeah. still the same game. Oh, yeah. No, and I, I've been trying my hardest not to compare it to Dark Souls because the combat's not really Dark Souls. It's definitely more closer to Bloodborne, but even then, it's still its own. It's still faster than Bloodborne, and then you're not healing up from hitting. And then there's also, like, finishers. When you break people's guards, you instantly kill them. Or if it's a boss, you do one tier of damage to them. Also, um, it's 3D. Yeah. Mm, yes. Oh yeah, the bastard in Dark Souls could even jump up six inches. You're completely right. That was a sad looking man. Yep. They're actually really dangerous too. Ooh, okay. You remember the toxic motherfuckers from uh, Dark Souls 1 in Blight Town? Yes. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. They don't do as much poison damage, but they sure fucking hurt more. Oh, yeah, wait. Isn't this... It is. Holy shit. Okay, so this is the very beginning of the game. You try to escape with the uh, prince through there. And then you get your arm cut off by a really powerful dude. Oh, I was supposed to lock on again. Well, cool. Yeah. So I'm in the same temple. Great. I don't know if I can make that jump. Fuck it. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. At least I only lose half my health. That is, that is a very small price to pay. Oh, hello? I mean, I do... There. I mean, I, mean, I have heard the, the argument, and it like, usually is an argument leveled against Mario games. The ah. They're practically putting out the same game over and over and over. But when you pay attention to the entries from software has made over time, Kingsfield, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, this, it's no... These are people that it's like, this is, like, this is their art. It's this one style of video game. Well, and they are just constantly reiterating and making more entries. It's like, you don't, like, get upset with Salvador Dali because he painted melting clocks for the tenth time in a row. 
Right. Like I, I wouldn't even. Oh. Um. <laughs> I almost flung myself off a ledge. Yes, uh, you did. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that these are the same games. They like a combat style. Like I mean, all the Devil May Cry games are the same. They're button mashers, right? Like. It, it's kind of like that. Like, yeah, I guess the combat style is the same. Fucking dogs. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but, you know, that one dog got fucked. Uh, All right. Do you have, like, the little rockets that you can shoot off to scare the dogs away? Nah. Uh, I, I actually... The dogs were no longer the problem. Yeah. Well, here's the idea. It's like, you know, okay, so how much is the game the same game? It, again, it's like Mario. So they're all Super Mario, plug in whatever the hell you want. You know, and it's like Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy. It's like all played very differently. Yeah. You know, but, but it's like there are still a lot of very strong similarities. You know, and of course, it's like you would take a step back from from software because they're not recycling the same protagonist, the same oh same exactly storyline i mean hell not even the yeah not even the areas are the same not the gameplay really it's simply combat but they introduce new mechanics each time and all that stuff like mario introduces new power-ups i guess yeah i mean super mario Odyssey, like was it like kind of a departure from what they had done in recent times where they were doing like the Super Mario 3D world and you know, I guess Galaxy. You know, but it kind of went back to feeling like 64 and Sunshine. Yeah. You know, and it's like that was good. But again, it was like a refinement of that idea again. So it's kind of like Mario games can be split up between being more open world. You know, and sometimes they have a, a hub system going on, which that was not the case with Odyssey. But I think it, a little bit with Galaxy, but Galaxy is very much like a linear thing. You just, it didn't feel linear because you're going around these little worlds and zipping back and forth. Like the, the, the path of right to left wasn't strictly right to left. It was uh, around and down. Yep. And catch in. Give me one second. Uh, what's the plan on Big and Nasty? Uh, Kill these guys first, and hunt down whoever just started ringing that bell. Oh, bell from software. When will you learn? I'm a bell. Do you wish to God the bell? <laughs> See, my problem is that I'm not thinking Dark Souls 2. I'm thinking Happy Souls. Yes. No, exactly. <laughs> You're going to regret that. Oh man, you guys should go back and do Dark Souls 2. Like, but you lost your save, didn't you? Me? Ori replayed enough that he could play with me again. Okay. Didn't I? I, I, I beat Dark Souls 2. Do the hex thing. I've beaten on my Twitch channel. I've beaten every Dark Souls game except for Bloodborne now. Cool. Like, hey, all life. Way, did you see the guy who did the Iron Man run of all the Souls games? No. So he's already done all three Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, back to back, no hits. My god. <laughs> he just did and finally completed the 12 hour run of Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3. No hit. That is ridiculous. Now, is he it... literally resets if he gets hit. He resets the entire thing back to Demon Souls. Demon Souls. That's nuts. It is. People are like, he must have faked it. And the, the response to that were, watch his effing streams. He is so happy and so distraught. This man has not faked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has done it that many times. Can I please get some pellets? <laughs> It, like, oh, it's not it's not just a speed run. It's not just 30 minutes putting the inputs correctly. Okay, good. No, that's a marathon. That's the you need to figure out what to do if you're hungry, thirsty, need to pee, tired, bored, whatever. Yeah. Like that's an extra layer of stamina.
The stealth kills do feel really good in this game. Right, yeah, it looks satisfying. The, and they did a really good job, like, identifying when you can do a stealth kill, which... You know, those giants look like what you're going to fight, but they're not wearing armor. You know, that's probably what it is, yeah. Isn't, that probably helps, though, because we've already been hinted, like, because Ori didn't immediately go kill all the things that move immediately, he knows that there's going to be one guy with armor that he's not going to be able to slash until he gets the armor off of him. So probably these guys having no armor will let him know how easily that guy will go down once oh, he gets the armor off. I fought those guys before. That one guy there has armor on. Uh, no, that's actually just a dress. I fought him before, or that type of enemy before. I fought him before. All these mothers look the same. Yeah. <laughs> Fistful of ash. No, it was fistful of dollars. Okay, so not fistful of cash. And then there was for a few dollars more. For a few dollars more. I just remember ah. that being one of those we were asked what was the, uh... What was the sequel to, like, a four of fistful of dollars? I think we were just like, fistful of dollars to electric boogie, and we had no fucking clue. You know, the shit you do when you're a kid. Alright, took a little bit more damage than I wanted. Oh, hi, buddy. They're a little more nimble. Yeah. Well, I remember, like, somebody asked me. Flame there. Ow! Equal to uh, a fistful of dollars war, and I'm like, was it another fistful of dollars? Well, in the middle of the third uh, thing series. Another, another fistful of dollars. So th the idea was just like three hands like crossing each other <laughs> so that it looked like it was one person, but then you're going, hey, where's the third hand coming from? That's fine. All holding cash. Okay, that's interesting. The the, ah. the ogre or troll is showing fatigue after doing a move, and it's and he's broken him. He broke you. Damn it! No, oh, he got him. Yep, I wasn't expecting the forward thrust. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because we're watching like the proper stream, and then we're watching you on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting that when I see that red symbol, that means jump, not dodge. Oh, that's the uh, sweeping attack, correct? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, barely just dodged that one. All right, we did that fight a lot better that time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the, the the guys that are most like you, the they're in armor, but they're still just plain old humans. Okay, but those are just like the snacks. The you're guaranteed to have these guys and get their resources. Oh, that was a little close. I mean, if anything, it's, it's kind of. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a little bit harkening back to those old samurai movies because of the, the blood spray and Oh it's... it very much is and I love it. You should have seen <laughs> you should have seen the opening like bit. It was it was very good. Especially the uh when you lose your hand, it is very much that old samurai movie feel. Mm -hmm. Like all of the finishers are too. I mean it's just yeah. The, you know, stab in, spin them around while pulling out the blade. Like, it's all kind of for flair. It's just that the blood spray makes me think that these guys have super high blood pressure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's the only thing that gets me is the... 
it's like yeah there will probably be a little bit of something because yes there there is blood pressure but it's not that bad like these guys these fuckers are like 400 over 250 <laughs> You need to see a doctor. You know, not for the stab wound, but for your blood pressure. <laughs> I guess I could just go around, but I do kind of want... Like, there's the whole, I want the souls. Yeah. Which, curse you, Dark Souls, for that, I guess. So what is your currency call in this game? Uh, well, there is... What is it? Uh, the actual coins. I forget what they're called. Um, oh, uh, sin. sin. So there is sin, and then there's also just XP, which is, uh, just right down at the bottom. Ooh, I have one skill point. I only need 47 more to get another one. There is loot in there, and I can see that. I want in. Who's detecting you? Uh, both of the ogres. I kind of got the scene. Hmm. But they're, it just, that's kind of like alert status. Red is actually detected. Yeah, it's a uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, mentality. Yeah. Ooh, there's a guy all the way over there. Oops, shit. A guy all the way over there. Oh, they're Probably walking too close. More Raiden than uh, Snake. Oh, very much so. Uh, if only there was the, like, slow time can cut things into yeah, I mean, millions yeah, of tiny pieces. Of Vengeance was kind of like Fruit Ninja, the video game. Oh, I fucking <laughs> loved that game, man. That was technically the first Metal Gear game I played. Hold on. Fruit Ninja already is a video game. So say Fruit Ninja, the video you know what? game. This was a bad idea. Give me the item. <laughs> okay, I did get hit. Good. Yeah, you did. <laughs> See, I think... Okay, so this is the thing that... You need to remember. Dark Souls capitalized on your greed. Oh, I know. <laughs> I mean, that being said, Dark Souls didn't give me a hiding mechanic. Yeah, I'm actually kind of thinking... What would Dark Souls 2 have been if they had added a hiding mechanic to it? Because it's the slowest game out of the three of them. It would be the one most likely to have a hiding mechanic because it does slow down, you know, gameplay and combat. Yeah. And very often in Dark Souls 2 and 1 and 3, the enemies, kind, some of the enemies just kind of ignore you. Yeah. Um... I still think one of my favorite things is uh, I beat uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution without killing anyone and without setting off any alarms. Nice. Now, this is a game that literally gives you a rocket launcher with multiple shots in it. Hey, I you believe can do it. the same thing in Metal Gear Solid 4 and they give you a Gatling gun. <laughs> yeah. With Liquid telling Snake, like, in his mind, it's like, it's because you like killing, isn't it? I did go a little psychotic at the end of 5. It's, you gave zero fucks by that point. Yeah, no, the story just went on for too long, and I'm like, okay, I really thought I ended the story here, and then you're like, but nah. <laughs> More. I mean, did you finally find out all the stuff with, uh, Silent? I don't even know, in all honesty. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> you turned around at the wrong time. Ah! He still got you. Yep, he did. Just they have so much wind up sometimes. Oh man, parry the attack. Can I? I want. Ah. I, I want a Monsters Living in Modern Day Japan manga about a baseball team and some dude like that is their star player. You are dead. Yeah. Um, do I get back up? Yeah, I got two of them.
I mean, he's I so close to being much, stunned. I don't know how much they've been doing with the uh, like monsters living in modern day Japan and everyone knows about them. They're kind of just cool with it. Like, how is that going? Like, Art was reading the everyday a monster girl. <laughs> Just an excuse for fan service. Ah, why do you punch? You have a giant mallet. Use it. Oh, we got to introduce more people to Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yay! Everyone should know about that. Everyone should know about it. Everyone should know that, you know, uh, Season 2 is coming. Ow. I'm really bad at dodging that one. It is not advised to uh, block that attack. Fair enough. Being said, maybe I should just do that. I I think my flaw here is. I take every fight as aggressively as you do with the little guys because the little guys if you don't kill them quickly they start hurting so you have to kind of keep advancing on them and I need to remember that on the bigger ones don't do that also yeah, uh so you you have to get your opening yeah you can there he is. sword to sword with them, but you have to go sword to sword with them with the full expectation that you're not just going to wail on them in two seconds. I found him. So I have a feeling that's the big dude off. with... Yeah. Maybe you should just be, like, go up there and be all sultry be like, isn't it hot here? You want to take those things off? What are you doing? Did you miss that entire fight? <laughs> well, now you've you didn't the hear the giant hammers? Methinks that mayhaps he, if you had walked past him, he might have just gone, you know what? You got past hammer, dude. <laughs> I can't You're see. good. <laughs> so are all ledges uh, kind of colored like that to let you know hey this is a ledge you can crawl yes on? very much so <laughs> this is apparent when I round corner well I mean his hands need to stick on the bird poop otherwise they can't ew oh, God. that's what that looks like kind of yeah I can't say you're wrong but I want to say you're wrong they're all like that. What happened to them? Uh, I climbed on them too much. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, isn't it nice that you can just bypass him? Well, that's kind of part of the game. So who's that guy in the red? Uh, master. yep. That is, that is my little master who keeps bringing me back to life with his blood. This is a remnant, though. These give me... powers? No? I don't know. They're something or other. Oh, okay. Does Sekiro still have that doesn't tell you much of the story up front, but it unfolds as you go through things, as you read item descriptions and things like that? Does it still have that? Yes and no. Okay. There is very much a story going on in this game, and it's not just kill the baddies. Like, there is very much a story established in the beginning. And then... Noticed... Yeah, sorry. I mean, it, you know, I mean, each Dark Souls game did have its kind of, like, opening credits and whatnot. I really want to kill him. I think I can sneak up to him. Um, I have no health items, though. Uh... Discretion is the better part of Valor. You know what? I know how to get here. I'm going to go back and heal and then come back and kill him. Because I'm pretty sure he will give me a prayer bead. And I need those things. Okay. Because that's my one way to level up. But um so yeah, there's there's like a big cutscene on like basically how this guy became that kid's master or uh 
Shinobi. And then it's like, okay, cool. Here's that. He got captured in this war that's, like, bearing down on everyone's heads. The war isn't finalized yet. Like, it hasn't fully happened. But it's definitely going to. Wait, who? Who's seeing me there? Is it him? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. But then, so, like... There's this war bearing down. It's... I mean, obviously, you can already tell there is a war going on. <laughs> like... Yeah. Like, there was already a war, and now another one is kind of, like, starting back up. Because of the previous one. You know, it's Japan. They always fight for control. Um, and so that's kind of, like, going on. And your master keeps getting captured because they want his powers question mark they want something well, of his i would imagine also with him being a kid he's an easy target oh i mean yes all right we're gonna kill bare minimum here Hopefully. Oh, yeah, okay so this does the dark souls one and three thing where the the well the monsters respawn now is there you kill so many and they eventually go away for good or will they always respawn like one and three haven't tried okay um they didn't tell me that they just said with exception which i'm guessing is the big dudes like if i kill that guy i don't think he's respawning but okay. obviously the ogres respawned Like, you know, the bosses don't respawn. There are some very big enemies that don't come back. But... I kind of hope Yahtzee makes fun of the bird poop look on these things. I mean, it's a thing that almost all games do now. And yes, it is kind of ridiculous. Like, you should see Tomb Raiders. It's <laughs> like, there's, I think they actually used, a, like, orange paint on one of the games. And it's like, all right, I'm out in the middle of you know, the woods, and there's this tree with fucking orange paint on it. How? Because <laughs> I mean, no like, one's been out here for years. Yeah, and it's like, you know what? You know, f For all the soft science that Assassin's Creed gave you with its story, I really like the, oh, no, wait, you're not really here. Oh, if yeah. You're in, like, a computer simulation. That's why you have the HUD. <gasps> that is amazing. I love this. Fuck you. Seven the Sheena Spears. She was. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He had two health bars. I have taken down one of them. He also just did almost all of my health in one hit. Yes, I see that. Up oh, there goes the rest of me. Was, nope. Mm. I. I. Yeah. I should have jumped. I did not. Ow. Bye. Well, that was fast. <laughs> I was trying to jump off the ledge, and I just dashed instead of jumped. Now, I have to say, though, I do like the fact that the game rewarded you for being sneaky so that basically the fight was only going to take half as long. Oh, yeah. And you can bet your ass I'm going to go and do that again. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ooh, I lost 287 there, so... coins there, though. Yeah, I know. He was living on a prayer, huh? Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, wait. Except it kind of did. Cause... What's up, buddy? Is it 7 o'clock? Is it food time? It's always <laughs> 7 o'clock somewhere. That's it's always 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's after 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh. Someone does not like me. Someone knows where I am. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back that up here. One disappeared. Should I be worried about that? Because I saw the two yellow and one red, and the one red just went away. I don't know. We're just gonna spin in circles right here for a bit. <laughs> It would be very intriguing if these ogres could actually bash down the building to get to you. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> they totally could, though. Oh, that would have been great. 
Should yeah. Dark Souls two. The uh, oh, that man is no longer there. The uh, I... the Iron Turtle oh. uh, monsters, like uh. Yes, I do remember those guys. I would get around a wall sometimes, you're like, oh, I got away, and they would bash down the wall. Yep. Oh man. Those enemies were terrifying. And part of the point, I don't remember a Dark Souls three enemy doing something like that. Um. Oh God, what were they? There, were, there was one that would like just book it for you, and I don't remember which one it was. I mean, there, there were the spider ladies that always ended up somehow being able to get into buildings that they should not have been able to get into. The ones that would, like, hide in the muck. Yeah. Oh, you, oh. By the way, haven't found a mimic yet. Really? Yeah. I don't know if there is one. Do you want this item? Oh, cool. I needed that. That's upgrade material for my uh, arm. Cool. All right, round two, motherfucker. <laughs> Why Try do you keep stabbing me? Carry him more? Yeah. Ow. At all? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Holy shit. You're not very good at leaping. Well, no, no, no. I was trying to... Okay, I have an ability where if I parry those, I actually hop on top of their weapons. And I was just trying to do it there because it gives me a uh, attack chance. I, w I was not jumping there. Good God, a From Software game where there's a jump button. Yeah, it's weird. I will also say, I'm not used to it, because I'm still definitely in that Dark Souls mindset. That being said, the loot button also just absorbs loot from nearby. You don't actually have to, like, press loot on each enemy, which is kind of cool. By the way, has it gotten annoying yet, uh playing Final Fantasy at 15 and having Noctis just jump randomly while you're trying to interact with something. Man, that got annoying on day one and it hasn't stopped being annoying. You will be at the end of the freaking game trying to go into the last door, like open up the last door and Noctis will just jump up and down. Oh, and I've, I, I was trying to figure it out, figure it out. Like, is it if I'm moving when I issue the command that makes me jump instead of grab the item? No. Nope. Yes, you have to pause pretty much in front of the item wait a second see the command show up on the screen give it a second and then do it it's so strange and that will get you to 80 percent success so like one in five will still fuck up oh that's so annoying <laughs> um so people have compared final 15 Final Fantasy XV's combat to more of a rhythm game than a... Uh... Yes, no, that's actually exactly what I said. I, I figured that out. I was like, oh, it's a rhythm game. It's kind of cool. I actually really like it. Once I figured out the combat, it's really good. I, w I was struggling because of the combat, mainly. All right. Take two. Three. No, two. We're not counting the last one. I... You know, that's fair. Yep. You know what? Just... <laughs> You're going to get back to a village. There's going to be somebody who's, like, missing half their body. And it's like, I don't feel so good, sir. Yeah, I'm not going back to the fire link. <laughs> <laughs> like... It's like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> and it's like, no, man, you shouldn't. <laughs> Hey, you want to upgrade that arm of yours? No, no, I'm okay. It's like there's just a head sitting on the ground, and it's like, what happened to you, dude? It's like, I don't know. It's like the world got twisted. Yeah.
Ooh, hang on. Got a text from Kylie. Western Prime Rib Burger. Yeah, this is that place where we're like, eh. Oh, yeah, them. Ooh. Kylie has started tagging me in recipes that she wants me to make on Facebook. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, yeah. She also texted me asking how long I'm going to be streaming, and I said, as long as I can, because it's Sekiro. <laughs> like, I fucking love this game. Oh, you have to go to work? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How's she doing with uh, busy season? I mean, fine. I don't. I don't think I am able to talk about her main complaints. Exactly. That's okay. But it's busy season. You know how they go. <laughs> yeah. Can you climb up the stairs in the building? Yeah, I already went up there. Now, here's a question. Can you re-enter the building once you've started fighting him? Huh. Well, we'll find out. I don't see a fog wall. Yes! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, ooh, an item. I would love to just have seen him walking around the corner. <laughs> oh, right up here. God, that'd be terrifying. He just gets up here somehow. Where is he? Uh oh. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. No! Okay, just bust through one of the walls. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Oh! <laughs> ah, from Soft AIs. <laughs> go up and get me. <laughs> I only taunt him because he has destroyed me like four times over. <laughs> God, he does so much fucking damage with that. Yes, he does. I also did very little damage to him, I just realized. Yeah. I really think this is going to be more of a you have to break him again. Or it is a you have to hit him in the same exact spot to break his armor off. Ooh, that was hot. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, fuck you. I'm back up. This shit will not be easy. Oh, yep. That, that was a low sweep. I think I should beat you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at guarding my legs. I'm like a boxer. Oh, good! <laughs> it has happened. What is my chances now? 10%. Wait, that wasn't... Oh, no, it's down from 30. I started this game with 30%, by the way. I wonder if you could... 
I wonder if there was a way of raising it. Like, if you beat bosses without... I don't know. It's fine. If that's really the only uh, bad side of this, I don't really care. I mean, I know it's got to be story-related also, but... Yeah. Where is my phone? I had it over here. Ah, oh, thank you. You really want your phone right now? Bad, bad. It is an interesting thing, the whole, uh, the more you die, the worse the world gets around you. Yeah. That would be kind of cool if that was like the case in Dark Souls 3, where things became even more decrepit. No matter if you truly died or used resurrection, you will spread dragon rot. Okay, so just dying in general. Great. Let's fight over here, where I actually have space. And a tree blocking my view. Resurrecting really doesn't matter. I'm fine with doing this then. I thought I blocked that once. Yes. Alright. How do you deal with your opponent doing the boots? Didn't matter. I was using Circle Parry, so it wasn't that effective. But you were able to see them until they were coming? Yeah. Okay. Eventually you get to cure the dragon rot. Cool. It sounds like it's a process. Oh, good. Ori! Yeah? I just watched the other screen. Really? Hey! Go back and heal. <laughs> Hard, okay? You try using a grappling hook arm. <laughs> Can you use your skill points to give you a better shot in this fight? Uh, I don't think I really have anything for two skill points, but I can go and look. I'm going to try one more time since I'm already out here. I mean, I could farm a bit. Mm, I think you got this guy if you can just dodge most of his attacks. I mean, yeah, that's Dark How Souls in general. Hit and don't get hit. Yeah, I dodged a few. I think I parried one last fight. Maybe I can set him on fire. You know, if if he's wearing all that heavy armor, maybe you have to uh, Benny Hill him around the uh, <laughs> the building. Fire's not a bad idea also because it would make maybe the armor too hot. I would actually be very surprised if there is a he takes off the armor mechanic. I could see breaking it off, but I would be surprised if it's a I can get him to take it off. Mm, that looked like it didn't do much. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I mean, technically more than you've done in the past.
Ah, there we go. <laughs> yep, nope. How did I parry that the first time? What? Yeah? <laughs> yep, because I sure as hell can't just normally parry it. Because I landed that one properly, like the timing. Hmm, all right. Wait, what did it just say? Oh, I understand what DW was saying now. Uh. Because he really wants to see the Lego thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just order Ori a new set of Legos to do, too. I mean, now everything is getting categorized properly, so we shouldn't be losing anything now. Archived properly, yeah. Whatever. Don't think that's going to help. No. What's the one above it? I already have it. So what tells you you have? Okay. Oh, so yeah, the little. Down, what's down below in that one and two? Uh, run and slide and then more stealth. This is kind of like your stealth skill tree. Okay. What about our shadow rush? Range powerful thrust, then use the impaled opponent. Huh. Cool. Right now, this is the only combat art I have. World one slash. Yeah. Let's see here. That. Leap in with a spin and slash at the enemy. Eh. Not terrible. Maybe? I mean, you're going to get everything eventually. What's the uh, that top one? Oh, Whirlwind Slash or what? Chasing Slash? Oh, yeah, Chasing Slash. Oh, after I use the Firecracker, I can dash in. Ooh, that's actually really good. I'm going to grab that. Because I can stun him with the fire. Um, oh, what's this? Fang and Blade. Using certain... Ooh, okay. Interesting. All right, so that's what those are. Those those put in combos. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right, so I think I might have at least a little bit of a strategy for this one now. I also have two resurrections, if I can last long enough. <laughs> and I still have that pellet. Um, I do need to get rid of that, though. I could maybe pocket sand him, but eh. Oh, who saw me? How did you see me? What did you see with your keen ogre eyes? <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I put this. Oh, you might have uh, dislocated or strained your, uh, your finger. I wonder if it was like during that swing, the rest of my fingers relax, except that one. Uh, he is right outside this door. He how did really you, how, to how, you how did you get up here? Go away. 
Can I can I backstab? Oh, fuck you game. Well, there's the other way to cheese this. It looks like you could backstab, you just failed. Yes. Because he he stepped away like the moment I went to go and backstab him. I almost got it. <laughs> I had to I had to walk a little bit faster. You, you don't see me. And I retreat. <laughs> Just need all the health for the boss. I do love the look of the axe on his arm. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then you got like the little flamethrower barrel, and then you got the little firecrackers. So it's not exactly like Biken's hammered space where her arm used to be. But what's, it's close. What's the benefit of the axe? Uh, breaks shields, which you cannot break shields any other way, I have found out. Could you use it to break armor? Maybe? It is a very slow wind-up. Well... And he attacks very quickly. I was doing decent damage when I was actually hitting him. The problem There's is, is I, I need to hit him. You know you can use a wind up that big, and that's after your first backstab. All right. I'll give it a shot. Um, I am actually going to remove the flamethrower, though, because we realized that that did absolutely no damage. And did not put him or set him on fire either, so... Meh. I mean, it did high break damage. I hit the wrong fucking button there. Can you follow me in here? No? What? Out of all the places I thought he would be able to follow me, in all honesty. Alright, we're doing this again. Nope, nope, he's actually gonna drop straight back down. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's actually a really good move. That's a jump. God damn it. Did I? I need to try something, because that was interesting. I think I dashed. But I hit X. I had a directional input put in there, too, so I wonder if that was it, maybe. Nope. Okay, that is just still a jump. Weird. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, it's... I just have to get good. <laughs> I I hate putting it that way, but, like... Yeah, you should be able to dodge every one of his attacks. I mean, I'm... I'm not upset. I am still enjoying the game, even when I'm getting fucking destroyed by someone, so... Whatever. Because <laughs> I just know that once I understand this, this guy will be easier to fight, which will make subsequent enemies easier to fight. Because I've now fought the... Like, the bull was relentless attacks and super fast. I know how to deal with that now. 
you run them in circles. He's not fast, but is just relentlessly attacking. Wait until uh wait until we get to the stage where we're seeing speedrunners do this blindfolded. That Alright. Oh my god. I was stunned through that. And that just auto tracks, apparently. God. I was full health. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ow. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Since I'm just losing the money anyways. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I just realized they're my Bloodborne bullet. Oh, just pop in their head to distract them? No, um, my, uh, sorry, the little spirit talismans. They're just Bloodborne bullets. I can oh. buy them from the fountain for quote-unquote souls. Enemies sometimes drop them, and they're used for my special weapon, which is in place of my shield. Yeah. I was wondering why the arm took charges, and once I pulled that association, I get it now. You know, I'm actually making a decent amount of money just from these runs. Then again, I'm losing it all, but you know. I mean, you got this, man. I mean, oh, what yeah. How things can take? Like 30, 40? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Still haven't fought him as much as the bull. <laughs> you didn't see how many times I fought him last night. I did it! He didn't care! That was not it. Okay. Nope. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Get back up. Yes! That does nothing to help me! I need to very quickly read something. Oh, that does posture damage. Ow. Ow. I'm... Damn it, I was still alive somehow. Okay, so that's what I have to do. I have to break him by just fucking stepping on his sword a whole bunch. What about, um, attack him in the back, get him to follow you back to the building, and then zip line up, and then jump on his head? Uh, if they know your presence, you cannot, uh, plunging attack them. Unfortunately, I have tried several times for other enemies.
since there is an actual detection system in this game, I guess that's why they added that. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling more confident now. We're going to find out that, like, there's hard mode and easy mode for him, and, like, hard mode begins with you stabbing him in the back. Oh, I mean, he probably instantly starts in phase two. Also... Walking in on Sir whatever when you're wearing, uh, what's his face in his armor. Oh, Sir Alon? Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's from Soft. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> but I don't know. For the most part, they do award you by uh, playing stealth in this game. Yeah, that definitely did more. Except for it's all gone immediately. And I apparently fucked that up pretty easily, too. The, um... Remember, you can go inside, by the way. Yeah, that, that's what I was backing up into. Oof! Do you have any shurikens you want to throw at him while he's... I do not there? have any. Derpling? Hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm over here now. Ow. Can I throw oh, him off a cliff? That was what I was just thinking. Can you get him to go off a cliff? Can he throw me off the cliff? Damn it. <laughs> My stun came out a little too late. I don't know if I really want to try that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh. I mean, at least it's not like running all the way back to Pontiff. Just to get two shot. Don't. I didn't have that much trouble with Pontiff. Yeah, I still do. He is still the one boss that I can never beat solo. Pontiff. I think I have beat every other. Boss in Dark Souls 3. Did the lady defeat Pontiff going off his sound only? Yeah, yes. she was blindfolded. Once you get his parry times down, it's actually very easy to beat him. I just can't get his parry times down. Also, there's always an example of that in Dark Souls because people are weird. I mean, hell, I watched someone beat uh, the upgraded Gundyr with boxing gloves on. Oh, God, you know what would be kind of cool? Is somebody who can beat the uh, the dragon in Dark Souls 3 uh, blindfolded. Oh, God, Madir? Running through the, uh, the, the gauntlet to get to where you can jump off. Oh, that, the wyvern, yeah. That one, I can't seem to... Okay. Interesting. If you can get behind him like that, where you have the time, that's probably when you should do the big wind-up axe attack. Maybe. It didn't do much damage to him, though. 
it was a ton of Poe's damage. Oh, true. I keep forgetting. And I really shouldn't be forgetting about it because that's literally just an insta kill. Souls video people you would watch Vati Vidya? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I just I, basically because we were talking about Sir Alon, I'm like, okay, I have to pull up this remix that I fucking love, and it's like, the dude Vati Vidya commented on it, I'm so upset you made this, I now want to redo my Sir Alon video because of this music. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, he, Vati you Vidya the prepare to cry guy? Yes, yeah, you go to him for lore. He he is all of Dark Souls lore. Yeah, basically, well, all uh, of Souls lore. He he goes by Rotaka, but he'll also go by Alex Rowe. He's on YouTube, and he basically remixed fucking everything from From Software. Huh. Like, the Sora Long one is really good. Uh, Saint Estrella... Like Ooh. abandoned by God is so good too, but he he does everything. I, he's done some of the the Bloodborne ones too, so it's like you'd probably enjoy those. Oh, I'll have to check it out then. Yeah, I mean obviously it's something that's like put it on while doing something that's... else. I have learned while watching jazz concerts that I really like just being able to do something else while listening to music. I'm not that into music Fuck. where. Ooh. Like, it's the only thing I can pay attention to. Oh yeah, he did an Abyss Watcher's remix. It has 2 million views. I'm... Hmm. I think I'm just going to throw myself at him a few times <laughs> and not really heal. I almost forgot the button to grappling hook for a second. <laughs> ah, that would have been for the fans, my friends. That would have been for the fans. <laughs> well, I was, I was just thinking, like, all right, so while in combat, I need to, you know, L1, R1, yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah, that guy. Jesus, here's toast. Ah, uh, yes. Man, I, I'm, I'm so surprised. They've had him on for two GDQs now. He didn't meet his time in either one, but he's just such a favorite. Even though he's not the technical best speedrunner, he's not the dude that has a world record or held it. Right, but he's, like he's a good personality. Yeah, and it, and I admit it, it's like I really enjoy the good personality. Like, it's like I still had Big John, and I still watch him and share him with people just because he's a good personality. Yeah. Yeah, I think he went over a minute on his speed run too, but it's just the you fucking love him. Somebody's mentioning something about the stab counter. Yes, that's what I have. It's just basically focus on blocking attacks, use the thrust counter on him to quickly break his posture. Okay. Oh, this guy also did a uh, near uh, remixes. Oh my god. Cracking on that is insane. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge that one, actually. Is it with a wa long wind-up? Uh, jumps into the air and smacks down. Like, it seems to just track me forever. There are a few attacks where it just says unblockable. Jeez. I, well, I was just trying to dodge it, and it just tracks me. So the the last time he sent that after me, I just tried to get underneath him and, like, past it. And he still just, he almost pulled a 180 to hit me with it. Now I'm remembering the 
the, is the crestfallen guy from three. I love him because he had the biggest spine in the end. Yeah. Like he did something the other two crestfallen would have never done. Oh yeah, there's a crestfallen in Demon Souls too. But I'm guessing with Sekiro, it's not everyone shares your fate because it's not a multiplayer situation. It's just you. Oh yeah, no, very much. It is just this one dude that uh, gets reborn. Well, apparently the guy, or there is one other guy at the temple who can't die. Um, he actually wants to die. So he's like, hey, if you ever want to practice any moves, I will happily let you kill me over and over and over again because I just want to die. So... That's interesting. He's basically your training dummy. Okay. Which I might actually go back and keep training with that thrust counter. Ooh. Tree and Mug did a guide to trickery clerics. Nice. Part one is 54 minutes, so. He has shit to say about the trickery player because the trickery player has gotten shit on. Un momento, Ori. Yeah? This is one of the few bosses where dodge dodge attack will not work. Oh. The best way to beat him quickly is to break his guard, which is in this fight means a lot of deflection and Makiri uh, counters. God. All right. Can okay. I double jump? Can I? I thought I had to be up against a wall to double jump. Am I wrong? Hold on. You might not be dodging those spear attacks because you need to double jump. And you might need to be up against the wall, so you might need to actually let him fight you near the wall. Huh. Um, Great. Perfect. Just what I wanted. <laughs> I want to put my back up against the wall. Great. Dripping armor. Those of large builds occasionally force themselves into poor fitting armor. Such armor can be torn clean. Shit, what did that say? Such armor can be torn clean off with a loaded spear, a technique yes. known as... You don't I don't have, have it. it. And I so... don't think this guy is actually the guy with the armor they were talking about. Hmm. Fun. Okay, well, come here, buddy. Sokomotoka. Sorega shiotsukai. Katana no shuren o tsunugai. Please kill me. Shikaraba mairu. Ah. <sighs> I think he killed you. No. Oh, okay. I actually don't have to input a directional input. I can just hit circle for that. Yeah, this is a training dummy guy. But yeah, if you can actually successfully dodge using double jump, apparently it does tons of posture damage. Wait, so what does? You get smack his spear into this, uh, the wall or something. Okay. Okay. Yuki Tachiai Datta. Okay. Ah. Uh, see if I can't upgrade some shit too. Hello. You're going to be coughing. Hi. 
Oh no, no you're not. Alright, hello. Well, it specifically told you who was going to be affected. Did it? Yes. Oh. Look in your inventory. Wherever the item was that was showing you what it was. I don't Let's think see. they're technically items, though, I thought. I don't know. They are. <laughs> well, this man is one of them. Do I have anything new? No. Well, let's upgrade. Um... This will upgrade. Oh, well, I need money. Never mind. Ignore me. What was that, the kitchen? Uh, that was me sharing tree at Monk. Nice. The tree at Monk deserves to be shared. Uh... Ooh. He has a three series on the ultimate jack of all trades. Excuse me, moi. Well, that, that's always been my thing. I friggin' love to <laughs> It's less of a deal now. Loaded axe reinforced with. Ah, okay. That's what that is. You know what would be kind of cool instead of getting these uh, coin pouches and whatnot? What if as you progress through the game, you had empty coin pouches you found and you could take your money and store them in it? That would be kind of cool. And then, like, as you know. That way you could like bank them for later. Like yeah. in case you died. That would be nice. Unseen aid. One point two percent. That's ten percent. Oh I know. Soon. I know. <laughs> uh go to your skills. I Let me see. Don't right. see anything. Let me see. It said something about like the firecrackers being good and the Ashina Arts the doubles thing. Hmm. Mm, I don't see anything like that. The only thing I really see is uh I, I think it will be in the uh increases well, the damage. And you have... Ooh, hang on. Yeah, no, no. Eh. What's that? Oh, that would be kind of cool. Well, it means you have to take the one before it. I did. I just did. And you but I still can't. Below it. Oh, damn it. Okay, well. Um. So what so... did you just learn? Uh, run and slide. What does run and slide allow us to do? Run and slide. Very good. <laughs> I can run, and then I can slide. And I end up in a crouched position, I believe. So it's good for moving from cover to cover. Oh, the kitchen. Can you come here and talk to Ori while I uh, go off for a second? <laughs> no, no, why? Hey! I just, I just traveled here. Okay, dude, the cat. No. Dude, one, cat, Fuck you. Yep. And the jugular done. I do like how the coins just fly at you. Yes, it is quite nice. <laughs> um. Boink. Are you grinding at the moment just to uh, deal with one more thing? Actually, not really. Kind of, but not really. Um, there is another way to go, and I'm going to try going that way. I actually might kill all these people, though. For the loot. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, though. Good 
美しいじゃが誰かをこうようなあらなんか悲しいねじゃったおいパッチェス誰を呼んでおる I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting to run into patches. You have a very big sword. You are actually a very large man. The clan that you are in. He hasn't killed me yet either, though. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> ah, he is sick. <laughs> yes. その、ファイルシャーナスのラウンドヒアー。やっ、タイムトゴーインドザワール。いきあたったのでござる。知らぬ。忍び集ならばもしやここの。You I feel like this is a side quest. I feel like if I know my Dark Souls correctly, if I don't go and shut up that instrument, he's going to he follow died. it to his death. So, off to kill the instrument. Yeah. Can I <laughs> just walk up to whoever's playing it and just stab the, like, the instrument itself. And just be like, no, stop. Well, the deal is because your little master has the dragon's blood in, in him and because you are sworn to him, uh, you can't die, but this isn't necessarily like everyone here is afflicted with the same quote unquote curse. So, mm. I have can a you feeling that I'm playing now, like now no. that you're here. Do I talk or do I stab? Man has a health. He looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, no, it did a funukin okan. All I know, Dana. Muno, you a yabre, Marco Tony Shinanara. Kikai, I could have more than all. I am that guy. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it did a long shadow long swordsman. Oh, God, he kicks. My, you, Marco Tony Shinanara. I can block his kicks. Found your shamisen. Ah! Ah! Pain! Why do you have one arm? He met the same fate as you. Apparently. <laughs> his sword has such fucking reach. <laughs> I mean, okay, but still. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, I'm real glad I'm not doing the drinks, because uh, I would be utterly shitfaced before work. Yeah, don't do that. I don't know. They're making me come in seven hours later. <laughs> I'm still mad at that. Quit your job in a way that you can uh, collect unemployment benefits, which is basically force them to fire you. Yeah. Hey, buddy, don't go down there, all right? It's dangerous. As I go sprinting in. Oh. All right, that did nothing to him. I'm gonna try fire. 
Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Stealth is not optional. Such a tiny arena, too. Please, can I get it? Yes. Thank you, Mara. Nope. Ow. Okay, that does a lot of fucking... Deflecting your effing shurikens. Yeah, he is. You are barely alive. Yep. <laughs> he roundhouse kicked me to death. Man. Come on, I am Mario. stuck between a rock and a hard place. Keep it going. I think you have a better shot at this one. Yep. That being said, um, it's kind of going to farm for skill points, but... That would be killing the ogres over and over again. Yeah, yeah, it would be, which I might go ahead and do. Give him one more shot, man. All right. Don't want my new buddy to die. Really cannot sneak up on this man. <laughs> All right. A lot of short lived. A little bit. He's going to die, so I'm going to turn it off in a second. He only got it for this one attempt. Oh. I right, give it one more shot, Ori. Why do you have so many jumpy attacks? Why can't I have the jumpy attacks? Alright. I think you are getting close to where you unlock attacks like that, Ori. <laughs> I want them. They just break guard. That's all it does. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh not get us uh copyright violations by playing that more. Yeah, that's fine. Oh good. So did you see that? Um... Yeah, the coughing and wheezing sounds of a man who is enamored with a beautiful melody. No, my new friend! The charmed one, yep. No! Yeah, it tells you right there. It's like... Yeah. And it becomes an item. It's Rot Essence Charmed One. Huh. So that, those are supposed to tell you who you need to go help later on in the game. Well... Ah, there was yeah. the slide. Kill the ogres, kill the ogres. Just gonna kill everyone. Farm some items too, maybe? Maybe eventually I could get some fucking pebbles. Or pellets. <laughs> pebbles is bloodborne. You are actually progressing through Final Fantasy IX at a pretty good clip, my friend. Yeah. Oh, hi. You're at what? Level... Chapter 8 or 9? Yeah, I think I'm at 8 now. Have you gotten to... 
going to activate Leviathan yet? No. Okay. How do you like the Dragoon Lady? Um... Interesting. She was supposed to get her whole an entire DLC only for her. It's one of the ones that got cancelled. Huh. I really think she should. I would she... like to know more about her because I know very little about her. And how about Gladiolos' sister when she fights with you? I don't think I ever fought with her. It hasn't happened yet? Oh my god. No, no, no. That's I so had her in my party for a while. You could take her out on the fights. Oh, interesting. She has a she has a block that is basically her holding out a gigantic Moogle plushie and like hitting the attack away with it. Oh dear. She did give me the Moogle plushie to block attacks with. Yeah. She used it when you before you got before you got to that chance. Yeah. I was wondering where she got it from. My favorite group picture comes up relatively soon. Oh. It's almost everybody. Like, that you, you know at that point. Really didn't want to fight two of you. And slide. Paisley. So, quick question for your slide. Yeah. Does it have a charge? What do you mean? Well, I mean, is it filled with electrons? Oh. Is it an electric slide? <laughs> Damn it, Art. <laughs> what? It's what I do. I know. I'm not the one playing the game. I get to come up with this stuff. And nobody was the wiser. Like, do you think when, uh, oh, good job, by the way. There do you, you think go. when you're killing these guys, um, there's somebody off there being blamed for it, and they're going, no, it was the one-armed man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Remember the try the double jump thing against the wall? Get back down there. You just fucking dunked me. Yeah, how am I supposed to double jump against the wall? Like, what What do they want me to do? Give me a second. I'm looking at a, somebody fight this guy. Go to the reservoir. Got it. Also He's doing do exactly it. what you're doing. He's almost like frame for frame with what you're doing right now. Huh. Does he want? Does kill the he drum guy? Run under the building. Nah. Let me see. He he just ignores more people than you too. Like he's literally like just walking by them. I mean, I don't fucking care. As you do for tutorials. Kills the guy guarding that thing. Now oh, the question. That, is, that looks so much cooler than going on the boot the bird poop stuff. Oh? He does a lot more wall jumps to uh, avoid having to grab it. Huh. It looks dangerous as hell. Yeah, not gonna try it. Okay, he starts the fight. Does he start it by backstabbing? Yes, he starts okay. by backstabbing. It, Ichimonji double is what he has as his combat art. Hmm. I don't have that. Nor do I know if I can get that.
Okay, come on, my friend. What are you doing? Okay, well, he just effed up. <laughs> and he effed up again. Fuck! Lots of spraying fireworks on the ground, man. There. That was not a very skilled fighter. It was just basically spamming that and then the, the move you don't have, which the, between the two of them was like breaking the guy's guard completely in seconds. Like. It turns into like a 20 second fight of you just redoing the same move three or four times. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. I think I actually made a lot of progress on that one. So uh, I just we're fucked doing up. Pretty good, actually. Um, I have an idea. So, what the hell are Ashina arts? I don't know. I don't have those. Did I, like, skip a section of the game? <laughs> this skill tree consists of skills that focus on stealth tactics. The Ashina Esoteric Text is given by Tengu in the Ashina Outskirts. After you assist him with a rat problem. Uh, okay. Have you been to the outskirts yet? Mm, don't think so. Every single guide I'm looking at assumes you've been there before this. I well, thought this was a very straightforward game. And here I did too. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I haven't dealt with any rats. Well, I will give this one more try, and then I will go and try to find that outskirts place. This is the first location that the players visit after obtaining the Shinobi prosthetic at the Dilapidated Temple. Okay, then, I mean, I guess I've been there. I guess I just missed a quest? I think you missed a quest in there. Huh. You killed the Headless, the Chained Ogre, the Great Serpent, General Tenzin, and General uh, Naomori. Yeah. Yeah, you just missed a quest in there. A quest to get an entirely new combat style. Damn. One based upon, like, heavy hits to break guard. Why does that still hit me? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Ugh. Let me see. Location, location, Ashina Reservoir, which is where you are. Bosses. Oh, this is the first time. Oh. <laughs> Sheena Outskirts, Hirata Estate, Ashina Castle? Okay, where is it in Ashina Outskirts? Oh, just Ashina Outskirts. Yeah. Blue Rust Poison. Huh. Inhane, inhumane, or inhuman Okami Warrior Women? What the fuck?
Oh, there are items that I have missed. Hey, look, pellets. Well, it saves me. I don't have a good answer for you, my friend. That's fine, I'll find it. Equipment and upgrades. Unlock fast travel. Find your sugar. All right. Shinobi arts. Yep, there's everyone who wants to kill me. Facing the chained ogre. Fighting oh. headless. I don't I don't know this headless that you speak of. Okay. At least it does not sound familiar to me. Taking the main gate from General Tenzin leads the player towards a mini boss called the Headless. This is a very difficult fight that requires a player to use divine confetti to deal damage, whilst being constantly slowed by a terror aura that causes miasma and fills a gauge. Nope, haven't done that. General Tenzin? Mm -hmm. I don't. It seems almost like you're very much sooner in the game than this thing assumes you're going to be. I feel like I am. I feel like I missed something. I look a giant chicken. I have no idea, because I could have swore that this was where I killed General Tenzin. Um, so when I... somebody that shows back up at your main base, his name, he's basically a Tengu with the uh, the the weird ma uh, Tengu mask on, a weird bird mask, Wait. Like a long nose mask. Okay. I don't, and I don't he asked you to go kill assassins, which he calls rats. Hmm, I have not met him. That's about as much as this thing is going to be able to tell me.
I have not bought that headless thing. Nor do I really want to. Outskirts of Sheena Castle Gate. After the theme, the first main boss, the guy on a horse. Oh, okay, there? We'll reach the Ashina Castle Gate idol. From there, the boss fight happened. Run across the battleground and up some stairs. Oh. Run up the stairs by the idol, the ones on the other side of the battleground. Okay, that's there why. There you'll find a friendly samurai in a building. Okay, that's why. Uh, travel to the castle gates. All right. <clears throat> That explains a lot. Yeah, I never would have gone this way, in all honesty. Have you been to Sempo Temple yet? Mm, I don't know. I have to look at my traveling yeah, places. Yeah, we'll get there later. Dang it. That man is very dead. These men are very dead. Ooh, an item. I'm going to guess that he's in there. Oh, hey, it's another shopkeep. Oh, what are you? Wait, what? An item that is rarely dropped by the divine heir of the dragon heritage. Using it will slightly reverse or increase resurrection power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with a recovery charm in hand. Oh. Yeah, when, you get, okay. when you can get recovery charms, you're going to have to come back and buy one of those from. Gotcha. Ooh, I need money for the gourd seed. Yes. Very important. I love that you can buy the coin purses for a little bit more than what they're worth or than uh what they uh give you so a way to do what i was saying before like basically except for you lose 10 10 coin each time but yeah guess i don't really have anything to sell oh well I need the divine confetti, apparently. You will eventually need divine confetti, yes. Hello. Is your wife back home? No. I was saying hello to this dude. Who should be home soon. He's very tall. Yeah. I have a feeling my character might just be really short. Because everyone else is really tall. Oh, I have my name now. Was what? Was he squatting over the guy when you came in here? Yeah. Is he your patches? There's a possibility he is. So basically, <laughs> you must kill three small enemies with big bamboo hats. Wait, I've tracked to the Ashina Castle Gate Idol. I've done that. I've killed those enemies. I'm pretty sure. Hey, it does not open from this way. Oh, yeah, those are the guys you were saying do the poison damage. Yeah. Well, go kill a few of them and come back to them. That's all you have to do. They do it already? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did it. 
There you go. Cool, now I just need skill points. I mean, luckily the first ones in it will be cheap. Yeah. I need to take a look at the, the book. Or do you have to give it to an idol? Yeah, I have to go over to the idol thing. What's up here? Ooh, there might be hidden treasure up here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Hey, fall damage is not that big of a thing. Uh, it is a thing eventually, but yeah, you have to fall for quite a distance. Okay. Do I do I go for it? I mean, Please be a mimic. Please be a mimic. Please be a mimic. It's not a mimic. Oh, cool. Got a prayer bead. There you go, man. Open for a minute. We see bit of fall damage, yeah. but not not. It's like old school fall damage, like from Demon Souls, because you could fall a hell of a lot of distance in that game. Yeah, and then Dark Souls is very little. Oh yeah, there's where I fought the snake. Was right down here. Nice. All right, let's. Go over Have you here, gotten then. the equivalent of the uh, uh, homeward bones yet? I think you start the game with it. Good. Yeah, which is interesting. All right. Um, two out of four. That's kind of nice. Don't have any skill points. Travel back to left David Tower. Oh. Uh, let me go make sure the front door is unlocked. This way. Well, something's gonna play out here, right? Do I have something for this? Might have just teleported myself on accident. Oh well. So I do have the um the DS to send you once you move. Yep, teleported myself. So I do have the DS to give you once you move. Oh, cool. That'll allow you to play original DS games on stream. All right. Uh, such as Chrono Trigger. And anything else you can pick up at GameStop. Yeah. They still sell some original DS games, I think. Yeah. So will that be for the start of our uh, Chrono Trigger Bloodborne? Yeah, that'll right. be that when we get to it. How do I... Or do I have to do it at this one? How do I start... Or do I just get those immediately? Can you just use it? Did look at your skills menu. By the way, you're down to nine percent. Oh, good. Acquire skills. Oh, yep, yep. It's just here. So that. Well, there is a heavy one hit overhead strike. Deals high and posture damage in. and also recovers one own posture with a strong forward step. Shit. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So it's two points. Yeah. Well, time to go and farm, I guess. Yeah, I get that. Cause all all the one guy that wasn't even very skilled, like he wasn't good. All it looked like he did was threw firecrackers on the ground and then hit the guy with that repeatedly. All right, I can do that. Or what do you mean you can do that? Like, I can do that. That that sounds simple enough. That sounds like something I can do. It's like, aha, we found my skill level version of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I am sure if I threw myself at it 50 more times, I would get it. That's the only thing I didn't like about running through the stuff with you for the first time, was that it did feel like sometimes I didn't learn the fights so much as, like, 
Ori had already figured this out. It's what made the Dark Souls 2 run so awesome was I'm not that great at the games, so we got to like experience them together. Like the, hey Ori, we're gonna go here, we're gonna fight this guy, and uh, he's gonna do some shit. Yeah. Hey, no. Ow. Damn dogs. <sighs> I'm just gonna do this since we're just farming. I mean, do you think there are males or females? <laughs> Who knows? And there are actually probably more wolves than anything. Oh, that's interesting. The way that the uh, you get the red line for where the bullet is or something like that? Yeah. God, that's so useful against the little enemies. Oh, yeah, no. The, the description of uh, that type of move was basically saying something along the lines of against normal enemies, you will pretty much just two-shot them. You will use that and then kill them. Yeah. I guess, you know what? Against these ogres, try to do the firecracker... Uh, oh, big hit. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, you don't have the big hit yet. Actually. No. <laughs> Not yet. Getting there. I have one skill point now. Which once you gain the skill point, you can't lose it from death, right? I don't it's know. I don't think that's how you intend to do that. Eh. I knew he knew where I was, so I knew it wouldn't really work, but... Ow. It would be interesting if they had attacks that actually lowered their own poise. I kind of think they do, technically. Alright, that looked much more impressive than I intended it to. It almost looked like you knew what you're doing, man. Almost. <laughs> I do love doing that, though. It didn't seem like it took you that long to go from zero to two skill points. No, not at all. Those ogres do actually give a lot of XP. Let's see, basic enemy gives me 17. Ooh, 43 for that guy. I wonder if getting stealth kills gives you more XP. Now they're 43. Hey, and I'm farming up money to buy that Miracle Seed too, or whatever it is. Gourd Seed, that's what they're called. That's like another SS class, right? Yeah.
Go away. Be a good ogre. So the, no. the ogres only give about twice as much. Hmm. I don't know why it didn't let me do the dodge the first time. That was kind of strange. You're almost there, man. Yeah. Now I just can't die to this guy. <laughs> Two skill points. Oh, just barely. Yep. It's barely enough, though. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look, I don't know why it wouldn't let me jump to it. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, you want to know something interesting? You can't use the idols just like every other Souls game? Ah, uh, that's not true. Dark Souls 3, you definitely can. You know what? We're just we're gonna, we're gonna do one of these. Gonna wait for the enemies to go lose interest. Well, we're also just gonna um, heal a little bit. We'll fight them. Oh god, the pellets are the healing shard are stones. For Life gems, enough. yeah. Five puppers. There we go. Did you like um I think it was on Facebook or Reddit or something where it's like the, uh... So what are those two off of them? Ascending Carp and Descending Carp. Yep, I'm guessing up strike and down strike. Mm-hmm. A latent skill that increases the damage inflicted to posture upon performing a successful deflection. Latent skill. Wow. For a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. Wow. Oh, the top one? That one's just... Deflections increase, uh, like damage or er, increases right. posture. Damage. Yeah. So both okay. of those I actually need. Pull out that strike and try to get the, uh, use of the timing. God. But I think I can just do this, right? Yeah. Okay. I will happily give it a go. Try this. I mean, definitely use it a little bit on the way just to get used to it. Not on the ones, of course, of the guys you're backstabbing, but for the uh, the other guys. Oh no! Yeah. If you go all the way up to them, you will not have to back. You'll have, you'll only have to backstab people. So. It's fine. fine. Yeah. If anything, I'll try a few more times. Like, 
Not like I'm gonna really lose anything other than money. Okay, well. Don't mind me. Excuse me, I have to go see what the cat's trying to eat in the kitchen. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, me Richter. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow. Dab. And backstabbed. I can't believe someone was crossing this without taking this little pathway. It's ridiculous. Ah, uh, was that dog barking? Hmm. Sharkins do more damage to jumping enemies. That's all right. So while we're waiting for Ori to get back, we'll notice that he has 11 vitality and 2 attack power. 2 seems like a small number. We'll remember that two sounds like a small number as Ori gets back because his unseen aid might drop eventually to a two if this keeps going as it is. Such a straightforward, simple, like, we are going to take our sword out and slash once overhead. I'm glad though. Like such an odd little place to throw like an entire skill tree over there. And I already found it. Okay, I am back. Welcome back. Let's kill this motherfucker. <laughs> 